Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how you can actually construct some killer influencer posts that are going to get you conversions, more people to your websites, and eventually more sales. So before I talk about how to actually construct an influencer post, I think it's important to realize that the entire purpose of your caption for your influencer post is not to go make a sale. A lot of people think it's to make a sale, but actually it's more just to get somebody onto your website, right? Because once they're on your website, your website's job is to actually make the sale. So with that being in mind, let's jump into the computer and I'll kind of go over this, some things. So the first thing uh, that I think is super important is you gotta understand the psychology of a buyer. Why does somebody actually wanna buy and what's gonna intrigue them to buy more so? Because we're, we're basically trying to intrigue them to buy. So um, I've gone over this in a few other videos before and you can check them out on my channel. So I'm just gonna do like kind of the Cliff Notes version. But um, if I do people buy, right? Um, I think the first reason is because they, they need something, right? There's a need, but really you only need food, water, and shelter, right? Everything else is just a want, you don't actually need it. So how do we actually create that need and, and make people believe that they need that thing? That's one. The second way, uh, let's see, the second way is that there is um, a great deal, right? Like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, you're not gonna get this any other time. It's only, you know, for the next 12 hours. You, you're, you gotta get this deal. Maybe a 75% off, you're not gonna see this anywhere else. And, uh, you know, that's another reason that people buy. The last way is that um, there is FOMO, right? And if you don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out, right? If they don't purchase this product, then they're gonna be missing out on something because everybody else is doing it and you should be doing it yourself. So if we can implement one, at least one of these things into our caption, we're probably gonna have a better chance of getting somebody to actually click through to our website. Now there's two other things that uh, are very important and one of them is, well actually three. One of them is that we wanna make it relatable to them, right? And I don't know if that's spelled right, nope. Um, there we go, relatable. We want to make the product relatable to them. So how do we take it from being like, you know, a piece of leather or a piece of plastic or just like this random form, right? How do we take it from just being a, a generic product into something that the person actually needs through making it relatable? How do we do that? Um, and number five is we are going to use something called urgency and another thing called scarcity to basically say that, you know, it's only available for a certain amount of time and there's only a certain amount left. So if you wanna buy it, you have to buy it now because there's no guarantee that you're gonna be able to if you wait another five, 10 you know, hour, whatever it is. So how do we actually take these six concepts and then apply them to you know, structuring an influencer post? Well, I'm gonna go over that right this second and we're going to try and see if we can't uh, construct our own influencer post uh, based off of those concepts. So I've gone ahead and found this product. It's one of the most you know, popular products on AliExpress. It has like 27,000 orders, which is insane. It's not selling as well anymore, so I wouldn't recommend selling it. But for example sake, I kind of want to just, uh, you know, use this because I think we can we can find an angle for it, right? So, and that's all what you want to do when you're creating some sort of influencer post. You want to find an angle that you can promote it at. So for this angle, I think that, yeah, you could, you know, promote it to bee lovers or beekeepers or something. You can probably make some sales, but I think what might be even a better thing is people that are into like organic or uh, fair trade or people that are anti-pesticides, like, uh, you know, earth loving type, type of people and people that want to save the bees. Because uh, I think what's going on or what we could do with this is kind of play on the emotions of bees being killed by pesticides. Um, and you know, I don't know if that's actually gonna work because I haven't tested it out, but that's just an idea I have that I think we could go for. So let's go ahead and uh, actually try this out. So the first thing that I wanna do when I'm creating the influencer post is I wanna create some sort of, some sort of hook, right? Some, something to hook the person in. Um, so I think what could be super interesting with this one is if we, we use like some sort of stat about bees dying from pesticides or something. So I'm just gonna do some research real quick. I'm just gonna type in like, uh, how many bees die from pesticides? I'm just gonna type it in on Google and let's see if we got anything. Let's just go to this first one. Um, 
Okay, yeah, here you go. So nearly 30% of American honeybees, oh, Jesus, it's going all over. Nearly 30% of American honeybees died last winter. So that's a statistic that I think we can use in our, in our post. So let's go back and let's just say something like, did you know that last winter, nearly 30% of American honeybees were killed by pesticides? Question mark. So this is sort of a hook. This, you know, people that are interested in saving the earth, saving the bees, saving, you know, or just bees in general would be interested and probably appalled by the fact that 30% of the American honeybees were killed by pesticides. So this is what gets them sort of hooked to, to read the rest of your message. And that's kind of the whole point of this. So next we can sort of dive into exactly what the influencer post or exactly what we're trying to sell. So let's say something like uh, that's exactly why we are giving away. And this is assuming that you're doing a free plus shipping offer. If you're not, then you know, feel free to switch it up however you want. But that's exactly why we are giving away, um, let's say a hundred of our best selling um, bee bracelets for free. Just pay shipping. Actually, instead of saying just pay, let's just say uh, just cover, because people hate the word pay. People don't want to pay. They, if they see, say free, which actually I'm going to put in all caps, uh, if they say, if they see free, they don't want to pay anything, right? So if we just say just cover shipping, then it's a little bit better. Now, you definitely want to include the part about just cover shipping because you want to be transparent. You don't want people coming back and being like, yo, why did I have to pay shipping? I thought it was free. So if you have it in your, uh, you know, in your ad, then it'll just make it better, more transparent. So that's exactly why we're giving away 100 of our best selling bee bracelets for free, just cover shipping. Uh, let's do for the next 24 hours only. Okay, so we're building in that urgency, that scarcity. So scarcity, there's only 100. Urgency, it's only for the next 24 hours, right? Um, so then the last thing we'll do, uh, click the link in our bio <clears throat> to get yours today, okay? And yeah, and then you'll put the, you know, the link to your bio, you put like at save the bees, and then I usually like to put the URL, so you know, whatever it is, you know, save the bees com. So another thing that would work pretty well, I think in this instance, especially because it's for a cause, is if you go and reach out to organizations that have to do with maybe saving bees or maybe, you know, anti-pesticide or organic farming organizations, and you're like, hey, you know, I, I want to donate 10% of whatever the proceeds is to you guys. And what that does is you can actually build it into the post as well, say something like 10% uh, of proceeds are donated to you know XYZ organization, whatever it is. Um, but what that does is, is people have more of an incentive to actually buy. Now, you're gonna actually have to donate that 10% to the organization or else you're just kind of a scumbag. But um, but yeah, so that, that definitely works in, in terms of getting people to the website. Now, the last thing that I like to do, this is formatted pretty well. You're actually gonna have to you know bring it into Instagram and make sure that it fits well on Instagram. And you can switch out some words or whatever, but this is formatted pretty well. The last thing I like to do is add some emojis. So what we can do is just type in uh, this website, it's called Getemoji. And what this website will allow us to do is actually put some emojis in. And why I like emojis so much is because they're, they're sort of pictures and they stand out against the monotony of black and white text, but they also tell sort of a story that words can't or, you know, that words can, can do in more time. So you can tell more in less amount of space. So let's just, for starters, see if they have a B emoji, which I think they do. Uh, let's see, there we go, honey bee. And we're gonna go back up here. And usually I like to put it right at the front. Um, so let's put the B emoji right there. We'll say, did you know last one of near 30% of American honeybees were killed by pesticides? So this is kind of a sad thing. So maybe I might put in like a sad emoji um, or a crying emoji. Let's see. Yeah. There we 
go. So we'll put uh, two crying faces. Yeah, there we go. Okay, delete that space. And then that's exactly why we were giving away 100% uh, for free, just cover shipping. Um, here we could actually put like a smiley face or something because it's a good thing. And what this does is it sort of contrasts the sadness of you know these bees dying to the happiness of being able to offer this for free and yay. So uh, let's let's see if we can find a happy face. Uh, who are these people? There we go. Smiling face. Throw two on there. And um, here, 10% donate to XYZ. You can put whatever emoji. The last one I like to do is this. Um, I just like to do a pointing down finger. Um, I just, you can put an arrow, you can put whatever you want, but just something that sort of catches the person's attention so that they can actually see where the link is. Now this is one thing that I didn't talk about, um, but you can actually approach this part, the, the link, in two different ways. Either number one, you have your own Instagram and you, you sort of just send them to that Instagram and then they click through the link in your bio, which is cool, but you have to have some sort of social proof. You have to have enough posts out there. They have to be, you know, they have to look good and uh, you probably have to have, you know, a couple thousand followers so it, it seems legit. So you can either do that or you can say, click the link in our bio to get yours today and then use the, uh, the person, whoever you're advertising, the influencer, whoever you're advertising with, use their bio and put the link in there. So it almost seems like it's, uh, it's that influencer's product as opposed to yours. And you're not really seen at all. You're kind of disguised behind the scenes, but it'll still send them to your website. So I've tried both, both work you know, decently well. So it's just a matter of testing, seeing what works better, but those are kind of the two ways you, that you can do that. So uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of this. Obviously you don't wanna use the same post um, that I'm using because it's gonna vary depending on product, depending on niche, depending on all kinds of different things. Um, but yeah, this is the general structure that I like to use for my post. So if you like this video, if you found some value, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because that'll let you know exactly when I post, which is every single day. And it's just free content every single day like this. I'm trying to help you guys out, so why would you not want to subscribe and you know have this great content coming at you every single day? Uh, if you like the video, leave a like, let me know that you like it. And lastly, leave me a comment. Let me know exactly what is standing in the way of you making $100 a day. Or if you're at $100 a day, what's standing in the way of you getting to 200, 500, whatever it is. Um, let me know and I will try to make some videos uh, regarding those topics so I can help you guys jump over that hoop because I'm trying to get everybody that subscribes to me, the family here, to at least $100 a day, which is totally doable. So go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning, oh, oh, yeah.